Hmm, is this Wednesday? Tuesday. Tuesday. It's Tuesday. It's going to be uh, Sawmill Tuesday today. I don't have enough logs to finish up this little order here. We're going to be, what, nine, eight, eight pieces short of finishing that cedar. So we're going to wind up having to go cut some cedar trees eventually. But the ground's too stupid wet to log, and Kevin's happy about it. Look at the smile on his face. He'd rather be cutting trees. <clears throat> but uh, I'm going to try to make a couple of three befores out of this little baby log. We'll have all the cedar that we've got cut up and then we've got some oak to cut six by sixes and eight by eights if i can find enough logs here to make any of that so here we go pretty soft to cut but it's got all those knots in it and they're hard so it's kind of like cutting through something soft and something hard at the same time and it's uh, difficult to saw because of that so let's we'll see if we can get this thing turned over here really don't need hydraulics for this but I've got them so I'm using them One more time. There you go. Let's see, we're gonna set it on six. Yep, six. See if we can cut anything. to the bark uh, had a chainsaw cut in it somebody put their chainsaw probably wasn't Kevin I have no idea where this log came from
header at five. that side down for me. Kevin's better than a hydraulic turner. He's faster. I got set it at the floor. And we finished on almost a full row of lumber. I got a guy supposed to come buy a bunch of that lumber tomorrow evening. <clears throat> Who likes live edge stuff, so. Isn't that pretty? If you had a bunch of that, what would you use it for? Box. He'd build a box. <laughs> Put your feathers in. <laughs> had a, had a, uh, Indian, I think he was Quapaw, wanted to buy a bunch of cedar lumber. He wanted me to cut it real thin because he's going to build a box and I asked him what the box was for. He said to put his feathers in, his headdress and stuff. And so uh, he, his name was Bear. I don't think he's living anymore, but he come by here and wanted that. And I called him, told him I got, I'd cut him some and and uh, he come by pick it up and I said, Mr. Bear, I've always heard that uh, a lot of natives believe if you cut a cedar tree down, it means somebody's going to die. He said, that's right. And I said, Mr. Bear, I'm not trying to make fun of you or nothing, but so basically you wanted a cedar box to put your feathers in and you didn't care if somebody had to die for it. <laughs> and he laughed <laughs> as we was loading that cedar in the back of his Jeep Cherokee. <clears throat> but anyway... Well, we got close. That means Kevin and I are going to have to go cut a few cedar trees, so. We're not quite there yet, but we got to move this so we can saw some oak here. Uh, this has been a little sawing video. Uh, just say thanks for watching. Uh, keep your eyes peeled if you don't like exactly this kind of content. You want to see more tractors and stuff like that, it's coming. Uh, I'm making a... Working on a tractor video right now of tractors that I don't own. And, and uh, you may be surprised. So, uh, hey, thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.